Clive Allen scored the first for QPR with a fine run onto the ball. At this stage, Rovers, wearing the plain shirts and in the bottom half of the second division, looked just as good as Rangers, who were third. Ian Miller scored a well-deserved equaliser. But Rangers closed the first half stronger with fine scoring attempts by Clive Allen. And then a delicate chip by the transfer listed Tony Seeley. A mediocre second half suddenly came to life as Noel Brotherson's cross for Blackburn hit a goal stanchion behind the line, rebounded into play and was netted by Norman Bell. The home defenders were aghast. QPR's manager, Terry Venables, rushed onto the pitch to protest to the referee and to talk to the linesman. The referee is reporting him to the FA and he may face a charge of bringing the game into disrepute. Meanwhile, fighting had broken out and the police made several arrests. Mr. Deakin was adamant that the goal was good, but the home players continued to protest for several minutes. Clive Allen, who'd been involved in a similar controversy while playing for Crystal Palace, took it further. His name went into the referee's book, despite his captain's intervention. It's good for Rangers that Allen wasn't sent off. He was pulled down just minutes later, trying to score. The home crowd loved this final incident in an action-packed ten minutes, as Terry Fenwick scored from the penalty spot. A two-all draw, football lost. 